Welcome back, welcome back to my channel. This is Angel Rufino. Bienvenido a mi canal una vez más de Angel Rufino. And today I just received my Smaco uh, Mini Dive uh, Tank, Oxygen Tank. Hoy recibimos el Smaco eh, para eh, buceo pequeño. It is on box, eh, no, eh, está sellado, eh, no está abierto. And we're gonna try it and see what it is, what's inside. Then we're gonna go uh, and try it at the pool and see the review about it. So, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. This is Angel Rufino. So, no se olviden suscribirse a mi canal, este Angel Rufino. Check it out. Okay, when you basically open the box over here, let me show you. It comes with the manual. Of course, you have to, you know, read it first and see what's going on. Then we found the tank. The tank is right here. Let's see there when you need it. It says there when you need it. It's also say uh, motor 300. 300 3000 psi and also he says that when flying on passenger aircraft tsi tsa requires cylinder to be empty and separated from the regulator so basically este es maco dice there when you need it el sai cuando tu malo necesita para hacer scuba diving eh, este producto toma una totalidad de 3000 PSI y también dice que cuando vayas a viajar tiene que estar eh, automáticamente abierto y el regulador separado so ahora vamos a sacar el regulador now it's time to get the regulator so the regulator comes like this he has um, you know to check to check how much air um, is in the tank he also have the bulb so you can connect it and charge it and also have the <laughs> uh, basically the mop piece so you can you know breathe through it so básicamente aquí está el regulador tiene un eh, el monitor para decirte cuánto PSI tiene, cuánto lo puede cargar, también tiene básicamente eh, para tú conectarlo y cargarlo y aquí tiene su botón para básicamente saber si tiene aire o no tiene aire. So básicamente let's take it out of here. Ok, you can see. It's already uh, sealed and everything. We're gonna plug it in. And we have to use the pump, which I'm gonna show you later. He also has this um, red connection. Uh, basically, also has this red uh, plastic. You have to take him out. Pues tiene esto rojo para tu sacárselo. Si ustedes ven este este sil que está aquí, eso es para que pueda tapar bien. Oh, casi se cae. Para que pueda tapar bien, básicamente eh, ahí. If you see these seals, it comes with another seal over here. It comes on, on, on green. And that's for just in case you have to replace it. So you can basically replace that. Another important thing is it, if you wanna um, basically take uh, less air and breathe uh, less and you don't need a lot of air or something, there is a above inside here that with this little key you basically can unlock it unlock this cap and you can basically move the bulb and see if you want less air because basically um this ball is already comes with the air that you need so i'm not gonna touch it it comes like a normal so I'm gonna leave it the way it is and then I'm just gonna close it. 
So, si, uh, que, si necesita menos aire o quiere ajustar la válvula que está aquí adentro, usted la destapa, tiene una válvula aquí con esa llave que yo le enseñé, usted puede, usted puede automáticamente ajustarla y ajustar en la capa aquí para que usted reciba menos aire y todo y puede manejar el, el, la, la válvula. So now we basically gonna uh, we gonna close it, we're gonna close it up and see how how everything looks. Okay, I think it's ready to pump. Now we're gonna pump. So now let's review the pump. So there's three way uh, to charge uh, the tank. One of them is with a regular tank, uh, oxygen tank, which we don't have. Then the next one is with an electric pump that we don't have. And then we have the manual uh, pump, which we have. It looks like this. And I think to fill it out, it takes like uh, 250 <laughs> pumps to fill it out that um, uh, little tank. And la, la, the tank lasts for like 10 minutes. So básicamente no tenemos, eh, hay tres maneras de llenar el tanque. Una de ellas es por un tanque regular de oxígeno grande. Eh, la segunda por una pompa eléctrica que no tenemos. Y esta manual que es como si fuera una bicicleta que necesitamos como 300 pump para llenarlo. So let's read the instruction and see how we gonna uh, assemble uh, this pump right here. And um, uh, yeah, let's see, let's see how how it goes. So vamos a leer las instrucciones ahora y a ver cómo cómo se hace. So we basically have. Ooh, it's really, it's a little bit heavy. Let's see, let's say, they say that we can carry it on a, on, on a luggage. So we go on vacation pretty soon, so let's see. It comes with this, um, the cage right here. It comes, I guess, yeah, this is the one that's connected to the, um, the cylinder. So viene con este, esto largo, viene con este cage, viene con este, esto es para conectarlo con la, con la pompa eh, y también trae toda su llave y trae todo eso. Let's see, vamos a ver, vamos, let's uh, put everything together and let's go for it. Okay, so basically we have the pump over here, we're gonna start right now. So it has two holes on the top. It's basically, you have to connect it right over here, right? With this, um, two knocks let me see if I can tie it up okay so básicamente ahí arriba arriba lleva dos tornillos la cual tú lo tienes que conectar con con tu dos lleva dos tornillos que van conectados con tu dos a ah, con el otro dos hoyo ahí so vamos vamos a conectarlo ahora Okay, now that we finish up this part, if you see two screws all goes over there, now we basically have the, the gauge. So basically you just put it right over here. See this hole, the front part, you put it over here. So basically, aquí al frente tú pones el cage y lo vamos a conectar aquí. Vamos a conectarlo aquí. Yeah, yeah, my friend, we almost got it, trust me. We're gonna be really happy when we get to the Caribbean. So, so basically, the, now the next step is to connect this cable over here. You just basically twist it, go around, twist it, and then you use basically these two that come in the box, and you just basically mm -mm, tie it up. So básicamente el próximo paso es conectar este cable aquí en lo azul y lo usa la llave para conectarlo eh, 
mucho más apretado ok then the next step is basically we had to uh, plug it in to the main door or main uh, main source sorry okay. el próximo paso ahora es básicamente conectarlo a la a la principal de esta manera es que lo conectamos So we finally got it complete. That's how it looks. So basically you're gonna connect uh, this part basically with the small tank. It will last like a 10 to 15 minutes. Um, let's see, I think it's like a 200, 300 uh, pumps that you need, air pumps that you need. So I'm gonna plug it in now and let's see, let's go. So, básicamente ya terminamos, así es que, así es que básicamente luce. It's really tough, really hard. <laughs> es bien difícil. Eh, vamos ahora a pompearlo, vamos a conectar con el tanque. Eh, creo que necesita como 300, 300 pom para llenarse. Y vamos a chequear a ver si tiene algún liqueo, si tiene algo. Y nada, y después de ahí nos vamos para la piscina. So, check it out. Man, sorry my friend, I couldn't finish up the beat. It spent like three hours and basically the tank has a lot of leaks on it. He has a leaks over here under. He has another leaks right over here on the top. So basically I just gonna return it. I'm gonna leave it. I was really excited about it, but I can't basically deal with this tank anymore. So Uh, I'm sorry. So, desafortunadamente no pude lidiar con este problema. Tiene un liqueo aquí, tiene otro liqueo aquí. So, no puedo lamentablemente arreglarlo. The pump is a lot of stress. If you pump, oh my gosh, you get so tired and exhausted. So, I'm sorry. Okay, see you next time.